Okay, so grab a piece of foam. This is our base that we're going to use. So I know this is a foot, a foot wide. Uh, I always draw a little bit of stuff first, okay? I'm going to raise it up a little bit here. So now I've got maybe 10 inches, got against the side. I kind of make, make your lines. Uh, it doesn't really have to be straight because in this case we're doing a bond building, right? I mean, you can use a, an angle on it, but imagine we're fairly straight, close enough. Okay, so that's that's a foot. So if we're going ten or four inches a floor, that's three stories, okay? And then I'm going to have it kind of busted off like that, okay? Now, easiest way to cut this stuff. Go all the way across first, day. Eh? Uh, I didn't go all the way through, it's halfway and kind of like a drywall. It'll snap there now, okay? So that'll, that's kind of our building, okay? And then I'm going to cut that up there and I'm just going to bust this off because I want kind of a, a jagged type edge to it. So this is going to be the the front tall portion of our building, okay? And then we'll do another piece off to the side here. And might need one a little bit longer than this, okay? So I'll cut another one. And then what we're going to do on here, we're going to de decide on window sort of patterns, how, how many windows, whether or not it's going to be sort of a gothic-y type shape with, uh, you know, rounded windows. Let's draw on this one with, you know, sort of castle-y kite rounded windows or if we're just going to have a whole bunch of little square ones or you know what kind of building it's going to be okay that's the hardest part with this is coming up with an idea eh? so anyways we can maybe look at real ones or we'll just start drawing I want to use a little piece of this stuff on here too for the bottom base so I might use this as a on each side of the main doors, or maybe this will be a side to the building or something. Never even measured this stuff. Five inches high, okay? So we might cut it down, I don't know. Kind of a neat effect. So, we're anyways, we're going to start our first set of windows above this. Uh, decoration on top of stuff like that I always leave at least a half an inch because it's usually half inch board that I'm or half inch foam that I'm using and stuff and then up from there our guys are you know what are they like I said about an inch high they're about 25 mils but I mean they're all different so usually I add about a half an inch high because I want to be able to the guys want to be able to see out the windows okay about half an inch above my sort of floor to maybe five eighths of an inch so uh, what is that in millimeters 20 I don't know 12 me 12 millimeters high something like that that's where I'll make my window say and I think on this one here I'm going to do a bunch of square ones I don't know how close I'm going to do them to each other give it some thought, draw it on. Sometimes what I do, this is a hint, is, you know, use cardboard, eh? And then you can lay it down and you can kind of place your, your windows where you want. You can kind of decide what you're going to do. Then trace around those, okay? And then, then cut it out, okay? So anyways, I'm going to decide on the windows. I'm going to cut it out and then I'll show you the, the board with holes in it before we start gluing everything together. Again. Okay, so don't have the holes cut out yet, but I drew on some windows on here. So I think this is a pattern I'm going to kind of use for this, make it sort of like a, an office building. Uh, I just found a square piece of cardboard. It's actually, I think, it's out of a package of zigzags or whatever. Anyways, I've uh, drawn squares on there at my like four inch level height. When I cut the windows out, I'm probably not going to cut them out quite this big, okay? I'm going to probably, see if I can show you here, I'll probably end up arching it down a little bit on the inside, sort of beveling it in as I cut it out. I'll just use a little wood rasp or a file of some form, 
try cutting it as best you can at that shape. Cut it a little bit high, then you can sand it down with some sandpaper or your, you know, your rasp to get it down to the, you know, close to the right height. So I'll probably do something like that and then have this bottom piece flat, okay, so like you, they can look out. But this is exaggerated a little bit, but so I'll bevel it in and make the window just a little bit smaller than these bigger squares, hey, that's kind of a guideline. And when you start cutting, you, uh, it depends on how much of a perfection you're, perfectionist you are. Some people have to have it just perfectly and they'll measure, they'll have a steel ruler and they'll measure over by the millimeter all the way along and have all their lines just perfect. I do and I don't, you know. I, usually what I do is I'll find a block of wood or something, a scrap piece of something that I'm using that's about the right size. So like in this case, that's the spacing in between is the thickness of this piece of wood, you know. So that's, no. And then on the bottom here, I'll zoom back out a bit. Okay, on the bottom, this is going to be sort of designed along the this, this street, hey, this and I'm going to have it ending at, at a door. So on this side of the building that I haven't cut yet, I'm going to have our main entrance type door into the place, but it's going to be all wrecked. And I'll show you how I kind of do the aluminum channeling and stuff too. Okay. Hey, working on these windows. Uh, I've taken a scrap piece and I've cut, kind of cut out the, the size that I was going to use. I'm going to tone them down a little bit. The reason why, I, you know, you do it on a scrap piece is so you can kind of, you know, decorate it a little bit. You can see here I've cut, carved in, and recessed it a little bit. Now, I use little rulers quite a bit. Uh, this guy here is 25 mil, so I, it's an old piece of, you know, something that I've cut off something with millimeter, and I've drawn a guy on there, okay, you know, and compensated for the stand and stuff so that I can you know, stand them in behind and see where their head levels are going to be. Anyways, this window is going to be too big, so I'm going to tone that down a little bit and make it a little bit smaller on our building. Uh, because I've sort of drawn on here where the windows are. With pen, I use another something else, like a pencil now, okay? And I'll, I'll use straight edges, okay? And I'll, you know, measure a half inch. This is where my floor is going to be. So I want, you know, so now that you've kind of roughed it in as an idea where you're going to be, use straight edges and, uh, you know, make all your, your lines where your cuts are going to be with your knife nice and straight, okay? And one, one tip, try to make your windows, the bottom edges of your windows and the top edges all even with each other. So in this case, we're going to have four windows going across on the bottom. Make sure you use a ruler and when you go across there, you know, make this one there, do all your windows so that they're all the same height, okay? So, like I said, I'm going to cut these down a little bit. I think I'm still going to use the same idea as I did on this one, beveling it in, just not having quite so high, okay? 